Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I've got kind of a fun one. You know, I've always wanted to try bow fishing, but buying a bow with all the bow fishing stuff on it is expensive. Um, buying the stuff to retrofit an existing bow with that bow fishing stuff is expensive. I don't even know if my bow can be converted to bow fishing, but I do have a blow gun. And uh, what's not expensive is a little $10 rod and reel combo from Walmart. So today, I'm going to take the two, just kind of uh, make, them, make them one thing. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I want to do is cut this bad boy down size um thinking for sure get rid of this little end here so and mark that because yeah cutting that off so we're gonna attach this here and i want to still have some rod on there i feel like having at least a couple of guides on here will help this operate properly so, I think putting the reel there, uh, cut it there, or there. Here, at this one. Yeah, that's the one we're going to cut off. Cut it off. Yeah, ooh, yeah, see that? See all the little splintery deals? I'm gonna take some sandpaper to it, smooth it off. All right, next thing I need to do is I need to attach the uh, rod and reel to the blowgun. And I think the way we're going to do that is we get zip ties. Is it attached? Yes. Is it good? No. Boy, she's really on there now. I feel like maybe I should put a third one on it. I mean, it can't hurt, right? It's a zip tie. I can always cut it off. Let's cut those so they don't cut me. The next thing I want to do is get this uh, monofilament that came on the reel off of it. For one, it's probably super cheap. Um, I don't know what the weight is on it, but also you see how it kind of maintains that curl. It's got like a memory of, uh, of being on the reel. I want to put some braided line on it so I can put, you know, a heavier test with it also being lighter. And the uh, braided line doesn't maintain that memory of being on the reels, so there's less chance of that inhibiting the flight of the dart. It just feels like it's going on forever. Take all this fishing line off. Oh, oh my god! I finally hit the end! Good? Yeah. Gotta let it spin, buddy. Is it 
Is it almost gone? There it is, the braided line, um, and you can see it doesn't have that curly memory that the monofilament had of being on the reel, so I feel like this will fly with the dart a lot better. Plus, this is known good stuff that's um, a little stronger than the monofilament's going to be. I don't really trust that stuff that came on the Walmart reel, because for one, I know nothing about it. And two, God knows how long it sat on that reel in a warehouse somewhere before I got it. So, this one I trust a lot more. The next thing I need to do is get a few of these guys ready to be used for fishing. Um, so, what I want to do is basically put notches in here in the corners of this to create like a barb coming back that way once it goes into a fish or a frog or whatever when it goes to come back it catches and doesn't just pull straight out of them then we're going to do it with a little bitty cutoff wheel i'm going to do it with a slightly less little bitty cutoff wheel All right, there we go. It doesn't need to be a big, deep barb. It just has to have some sort of barb on it. The ones on fish hooks aren't very deep. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, so now I need to tie the line onto my dart. Um, I made a mark where the cone ends, so I know not to tie it any higher than that. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know what this knot is called because I just watched a video on YouTube. So, apparently, you wrap this around, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll do seven times, yeah? Doesn't matter, apparently, how many times you wrap it around. Then, you tie what they call a cinch knot onto this, I don't know what knots are, what what to call knots. I'm not very good at knots. Anyways, we wrap this one around a few times, five, six, seven times. So one, eh, fat fingers, two, three, four, five. We'll do five times. Apparently, we just have to bring the tail end back through here and you just cinch it down nice and tight and supposedly now the harder you pull on it the tighter it gets, which is, I guess, the point. I'm bring it all the way up to here. Put the cone on, and apparently that's it. That's it. That's done. I don't want to pull too hard because I'll slide my hand down and cut it. Mm. Golly, yep, that, yep, it's on there. It's on there. I'm just. Yeah. Apparently, that's uh, that's good. That works. Cool. All right, there it is. Got all of my barbed fishing darts attached. My rod and reel attached, line out, and tied to a single dart. There we go. So one of the, I guess, things about this is I can't load it through here like I uh, normally would. So the way you would muzzle load it is you pull your cone off 
and your end cap off. You just got to make sure you got plenty of line when they slack out. Drop it down. The muzzle. Whee! Until it comes out the end. Then take your cone, put it back on, and I guess drop it and the line in. Boom. It's loaded. Let's go try it out. Loaded. And uh, I guess just move the bale out of the way. I guess pretend there's a fish on there. Oh, oh, oh. Caught something apparently. Ah. There it goes. I can see it. That so. you really thought you caught something, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, buddy, I totally caught something. So yeah, I guess it stabbed into the ground and it, I tugged pretty hard and my knot didn't go anywhere. Man, this thing, this thing is cool. Like, I'm way happier about this than I thought I would be. I can't wait to get out to a body of water and actually try to catch, catch a fish or, or something with it. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.